in the previous sessions, we were talking about ordering the activities in a chronological order, looking at precedence information. And now, in this session, I will define what different precedences can be used when you're planning a project. I will also introduce you the terms leads and lag, which are very important in project management. There are four types of precedences which have been defined in the project management body of knowledge. They are a finish to start relationship, a start to start, start to finish, and finish to finish. Let's start with the finish to start relationship. It means that the task B, in this case, can only start when the predecessor A is finished. When there are more predecessors, of course, B can only start when all predecessors have been finished. The finish to start relationship is one of the most common relationship between activities. And it is also the one that's used in this class because it's the easiest one to work with. Although we will only work with the finish to start relationship in this course, I will also define the other relationships that we have. The second one is the start to start relationship. Task B can only start when task A started. A finish to finish relationship means that task B can only finish when task A is finished. A start to finish means in this case that task B or activity B can only finish when activity A starts. And for the sake of this course and some other practical application, I added a percentage to complete relationship. In this case, the task or activity B can start when the task or activity A has been completed for a certain percentage. Activity A does not have to be completed totally before activity B can start. Now let's have a look at leads and lags. First, what is a lag? A lag is a delay between the start of a successor task and the end of a predecessor task. In our case, I selected a lag of 25 days. It means when task A finishes, activity B can only start after waiting 25 days. An example is the curing of concrete. You have to typically wait 28 days before you can work on the newly poured concrete, so we had a lag of 28 days. Another example would be putting a primer on a wall and you have to wait 24 hours or 48 hours to add the first paint layer. Another term is a lead. A lead can be explained as a negative lag. When we have the activities A and B, B can start 15 days earlier than the finish of activity A. An example would be that for completing task B, you may need some equipment to order and there is a delivery time. So that delivery time would be the lead that you would apply to task B. Otherwise, you will never have the equipment on time. So, precedences, leads and lags, very important terms for a project manager. You will need those for scheduling. In our class, we will only look at the finish to start relationship. We will not use leads and lags, but of course, you may use them in the real project you will be working on. A great job. 
See you at the next session. Thank you.